Welcome back to the shop. In this episode, we're gonna finish up the bucket pivots, reinforce the loader arms, and add supports for the loader arm uprights. Before welding the bucket pivot points in place, I drilled four one inch holes into each of the C4 brackets. Each piece is four inches in length and welded to the reinforced section of the bucket. A great amount of stress will be placed on these brackets, so I'll make two passes with the MIG. Off camera, I added a grease fitting to each of the pivot points. This will keep the cylinder pins from wearing out. Quarter inch plate is used for the brackets for the main lift cylinders. It sits about three inches forward of the main uprights. The inner bracket for the main lift cylinder is just three inch by three inch angle iron. We need to reinforce the midpoint of the loader arms. So once again, we're gonna use quarter inch plate to do so. Now I've already cut the one inch hole for the upper pivot of the main lift cylinder. I'm using a pair of 2520 cylinders for the main lift. Once the outer bracket is tacked in place, I can use the pivot point to line up the inner bracket. I'm using a single 2012 cylinder for the tilt mechanism. Now I did consider using dual cylinders up front, but I thought that might be overkill. I also considered using a single center mount cylinder, but that would make the plumbing overly complicated and it would make the hood difficult to open. So this really is the best option for a small front end loader. A small lightweight loader needs to carry a lot of momentum when it's plowing into a pile of dirt. I'll use this two inch square tubing, welded to the frame, back to the uprights to keep it all together. The next part in the series will cover the emergency braking system of the tractor. I converted this tractor from drum brakes to disc brakes and I think you'll find that interesting. So please subscribe. 